Hello you guys, welcome to my new bathroom. Um, today we're gonna be doing a little get ready with me for a headshot, you know, kind of some like photo ready makeup. Um, but I'm going to be doing that today. Um, I'm sorry the lighting is kind of a little off in this video. I'm trying to figure it out. We have moved into a house and we just don't have every room like painted and we don't have everything set up yet. So um, just bear with me for the next few videos. But I hope you guys enjoy and let's get into it. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and pin back my hair and we're going to get started. So today I'm going to use the Milk Pore Filling Mattifying Primer. I really like using primers um, that are like very smoothing and pore filling when I'm going to be taking a picture. So we'll just blend this in on my skin. For foundation today, I'm using the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra Longwear Foundation. It looks like this. You guys, I have been obsessed with this. Um, maybe I should get my makeup brushes out. And I'm just gonna be blending it out with this Sephora foundation brush. Um, so I like to put some little dots all over my face. And then we'll start blending it. Um, so I bought that foundation thinking that it was the um, TikTok viral one that Glamzilla was talking about. And then like Jeffree Star did um, a little, what's it called, review on it. I've just seen so much hype on it. And I went on to Laura Mercier's website and this foundation was on sale. And turns out... I got the wrong one. This is not the TikTok viral one, but I am literally obsessed with it. I really want to try the TikTok viral one. And because that one's on sale, I'm thinking maybe they're discontinuing discontinuing this. I don't really know. Um, but I think this one is also literally amazing. I've been obsessed. This is what I've been using a lot. Um, I know I've talked in a couple of recent videos about how um, literally I'm so pale right now. None of my shades have been matching me. So I got this one in a lighter shade and it's a bit light as you can see. This one also does not really oxidize too much which is nice but we're going to bronze it, my skin back up and everything so it's fine, it's fine but I have been obsessed. So I'm going to use my Makeup by Mario Contour Stick to contour today. This is the light and medium shade. And I really like this. Um, I'll do a little on the sides of my nose. We are priming my eyes today with Too Faced Shadow Insurance. What a throwback. This is the 24 hour wear one. And y'all, I feel like Using Too Faced Shadow Insurance, it's kind of like the Urban Decay Primer Potion. It like takes me back and makes me think about whenever I first started getting like a ton of high-end makeup and stuff because that was one of the first primers that I had. I have been using my Rare Beauty Blush Brush to blend my contour and I've been really loving it. Um, and also... For photos, I kind of like to go a little extra with my cream um, blush and contour um, just so it really shows up. I feel like sometimes when you take a headshot, it can really like wash your makeup out a little bit. So doing a little extra blush and bronzer, I don't think hurts anyone. We're going in with some Tarte Shape Tape and I'm gonna put this underneath the eyes. And I'm also gonna do a little bit around my nose, a little dash on my chin, and then just right here in the center of my forehead. And I'm gonna let this sit for just a moment. And I'm going to try out the um, ColourPop brow pencil. Um, I don't typically fill my brows in, but I really need to get them laminated again and um, they're looking a little cray cray right now. So I am gonna fill in the sparse areas and just kind of make them a little more bold. 
Um, once again, I feel like when you take pictures, it can really kind of like, whoa, it can really just kind of wash you out a little bit. So I want to go in with this just to kind of make my brows a little more bold and it is a headshot you know um i have started working doing um for a hair like a formal hair and makeup company and so i got several of those shades and i'm just kind of testing some stuff out i also got all these little sponges because you know you can't use like the same beauty blender and stuff on people so i'm actually using the sponge today just to kind of like see if it's like gonna be annoying or if it's gonna kind of work good. Um, I have my first wedding tomorrow morning, or not tomorrow morning, Saturday morning, Sunday morning. Today's Friday morning. <laughs> um, and I'm going to really be more so shadowing and just kind of helping out at that wedding. And then Monday morning I have makeup um, that I'm doing, which is actually going to be for um, her headshots. So for blush, I'm going to use the milk, um, blush. This is in the first shade. This is the cooling tinted jelly blush. I've been really liking this, but I don't like putting it on my face first because it's kind of hard to blend when you put it on your face. So I've been using the Real Techniques Expert Face Brush and I kind of just like load it up on my brush and then I'll start like kind of pressing it into my cheeks. I kind of also like to bring it up under my eye a little bit. Um, oh, it's just so pretty. And this literally lasts all day long. I feel like I've seen very mixed reviews on this. Um, and obviously the marketing for this thing was genius. Um, because that's definitely, definitely influenced me to buy it. Seeing all the tip talks, um, today I want to use my Huda Beauty cupcake powder. Um, I love this so much and I'm going to go in with the same sponge and I'm just going to start by putting this, pressing it under my eyes a bit. Under my like, under my contour. I'm gonna use just kind of like a big fluffy brush and just kind of like set the rest of my face a bit. I'm going to put on just a little bit of my um, Sephora lip mask, just so my lips can get a little bit of moisture before we do that. Okay, so I'm gonna pause on the face and we're gonna go work on the eyes a little bit. I'm gonna figure out exactly like what I'm gonna do about the lighting and whatnot in here. So I'm using my Patrick Ta palette and I'm going, I'm just kind of mixing these top two shades and then we're also going to kind of throw in this more cooler tone shade and then I'll be using these two shades too. And I really am just going to be kind of going back and forth in my crease with all of those shades. Um, I'm in a new background. I have not filmed a video in weeks, y'all. It's I feel like it's been close to four weeks because even the last video that I posted was... Um, I posted that like a week or two after I filmed it, but we have been in the home buying process, which has just been so stressful and so much. We got our house, we've been moving in, and it has just been a lot of work, y'all. And then we got really sweet, like all of us got sick. We still have so much work to do in the house. Um, but we have made a lot of progress and basically all of the the whole house i'm going to talk more about this in my vlog i'm not sure if the vlog is going to be up before or after this i kind of want to put it up before because i'm going to be kind of doing more of like a life update in that but basically um the whole house was green 
So we have been painting away to get it, you know, just more us and get that ugly green out of here. Take a little brush and we're just gonna take these top two shades and I'm gonna put this on my lower lash line. I'm trying to decide, I think I do wanna do a little bit of eyeliner today. Um, not a lot, I'm just gonna use the brown shade here on a little brush. And I think we're just gonna kinda do like the outer half of my eyes. Just once again, that, those the lighting of pictures and stuff can kind of like wash you out a little bit. So just to give a little more bit of like dimension to my eyes, we're just gonna kinda fill it in a touch. That's gonna be it for the eyes. Um, I am going to do some mascara. We're gonna use Lash Paradise. Mascara, I'm gonna curl my lashes. I love L'Oreal Lash Paradise. Um, this is just like one of my faves. All right, let's go back and kind of finish up the face a little bit. I'm going to use this Jaclyn Hill. Um, this is the brightening and, brightening and setting palette. And I'm gonna take kind of like this like yellowy shade and this yellowy shade and kind of just go under my eyes, kind of just wiping away the powder I had sitting under there. And this is nice to just kind of brighten. And then I kind of do like kind of just mix all of them and I'm gonna kind of wipe away the baking under the contour a bit. We're going in with my Hourglass palette. With the Hourglass palette, I'm gonna mix the bronzer and the lighter shade. And we're gonna kind of bronze up the skin a bit. So for blush, I'm gonna use, this is the Patrick Ta She's That Girl blush. And I'm just gonna use the cream on a little brush here. Just kinda like pick it up. And I'm gonna kinda just like put a little bit of this on. Instead of using a powder, I like to use this because it kinda still gives you like a bit of like radiance. It's so pretty, you guys. I literally, she, uh, the Patrick Ta, she's blushing. I think that's what it's called, like his new, one of his new blushes. I really want to get it. I think it would be so perfect for brides and formal makeup. I am like a major, major blush girl. So I know a lot of people might not really like crazy blush, but that she's blushing shade, I think would just be so perfect for a lot of people. Um, I'm gonna use my e.l.f. brow lift, what's new? I'm just gonna set my brows in place a bit. We're gonna use a little bit of my skin toned liner on my waterline. Brighten up those eyes. Um, for highlighter, I'm using this Sephora. This is a luminizer. So instead of it being a super crazy vibrant highlighter, this just gives a really pretty illumination to your skin um, and a little bit of brightness in like those areas that you want without being like crazy. This is another product that I think is just so nice. Um, to give you that like radiant look for like pictures or like if you're not a big makeup person, but like, you know, we're more wear a little, we're wearing a little makeup because it's just always so pretty. It's just like not a blinding highlight. It's just very neutral. It's gonna be like 
Mainly what I do, we'll go ahead and do the lips. I'm so sorry, the lighting is really not amazing in here. I'm gonna have to kind of figure that out. I'm planning on getting like a vanity and stuff for the bedroom and I'll have more of a better like building setup. Um, all night spray. And then we're gonna do lips. We're gonna use nude truffle. I wanted to use nude beige, but I think it's in my purse downstairs. I think I might use this Jacqueline liquid lip in the shade Get Real. It is really light, maybe not. Maybe I'll just like do a little and Kosas Lip Fuels in the shade Flow. It's a hyaluronic lip balm. I love these because they give your lips so much shine and because it has the hyaluronic acid, and it like fills in all of the like lines in your lips. So and this one has a little color. So. Love that. Okay. I think that's going to be my makeup for the photos. I need to go in and curl my hair. I'm about to do that. Um, I think I'm going to curl my hair while I start my vlog. But I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.